Hi, this is Stephen Brower. In this video, I want to answer the question, why aren't we using Excel? Okay, so why aren't we using Excel? <laughs> um, what I have here is uh, I have an Excel spreadsheet. And uh, imagine this is for, well, the Springfield uh, gift shop. And here are the customers that we have. Uh, these are the products that we sell. And these are the orders that we have placed. Uh, the main reason why we would not want to use Excel is for referential integrity. So suppose we're now doing order 30 and it's for today. Jeez, <laughs> oh, um, that wasn't my uh, uh, intent. Okay, and it's for today. And let's say the customer is for customer 124 whose name is um, uh, Bill Smith. And let's say he's getting product 889, which is a, you know, a widget maker, which is $2.34. Well, the reason why this is an issue, there is no customer 30, and we don't have that product uh, 889. So I just went and I entered in to this orders sheet a set of values that doesn't exist. So if I was using Access, and what I have right here is an Access database, and we'll see more about this in other videos. And if I go in now to the orders table, and I'm working on order 31, And I want to do it for customer, uh, I've already forgot the numbers I did, 123 and product 889. Now when I try to lose focus off this road, I mean, off this record, it says, hey, you can't do this because related record is required in products. So that means that the product ID actually has to be a valid product in order for me to do this. Okay, so let me for now, I'll just go put in a valid product. Um, oh, I didn't put in a valid product. <laughs> okay, now we have a valid product, but I don't have a valid uh, customer. So oh, that, maybe that was supposed to be customer 23. Now I have a valid customer ID and product. So Excel doesn't let us do referential integrity, but Access does. So as we'll see in another video, we actually can go in and establish a relationship. And what's saying here is that this product ID has to exist in the products table. This customer ID has to exist in the customers table. So this way I can't have an order for a non-existent customer. I can't have an order for a non-existent product. And so it's this referential integrity that Access will allow us to enforce at the database level that will give us good data so that later when we run queries and reports, we're dealing with good data for our queries and reports. Okay, so for this video, I just wanted to answer the question, why not Excel? And there'll be some other videos while answering other questions.